All right, all right, all right. Or, my obuntag, my obuntag, my obuntag. For those out there today, it's for the Filipinos and the Americans, man. It is cool here this morning, man. I'm down here, I rode down here on a motorcycle. It's about 5.30. And uh, in the morning, so it's no traffic, so it's great, man. It's my favorite time. But, um, yeah, it's, it is cool as it can be, man. God, it feels like Colorado in the morning when it's like 50 degrees. Anyway, uh, we're uh, up here at the house. I wanted to do another update here. I wanted to give you a shot here too, man, of the view behind us. Let me give you this. Look how pristine, those big, huge bamboo over there. Look at the mountain up here behind the house. I think that good. Dude, that's beautiful up there. Little shot of the house here. Beautiful coconut trees, man. The sun is bright, bright yellow this morning. We are been waiting and humping it, getting everything in preparation. For uh, pouring the cement here and doing the pool decking. Yeah, look at this view here. God, it's just awesome up here. I love it. Whoever buys this house, I tell you what, man, they're gonna have a a beautiful place to wake up to every day. So everything here is ready to pour on the driveway. I was really wanting to make sure I had enough cash for this because this to me is a very important part. A lot of people said, I'll just use gravel. I'm like, man, you can't do that. What the hell are you talking about? Here's, um, this is going to be all landscaped here. I was leveling out a little bit the other day, so we got a hell of a pour tomorrow. It's, a, it's about 150 bags of cement all mixed with a mixer. Here's our trash pile that uh, I'm getting rid of. They're getting smaller and smaller as we go. Here's another view. Uh, we'll start the gates too soon. We're gonna make them by hand. They are will be welded with two by two steel and one by one steel, vertical. So it'll be hard to climb. Some people do them horizontal and I just don't kind of understand that. But yes, this will come down soon. This will be cleaned up soon and leveled out. This will kind of be a parking area, uh, which also could double for parking area, or if you wanted to do a storage room, you could. All this will be cleaned up and leveled out, so we're getting, getting there on that. Everything here is poured. We had four loads of gravel come in. We have the decking which I'm super excited about. It is a gold type, little tiny stone, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. This is our pump house, all complete. Uh, they actually did a concrete roof, which I like because you can put you know, other things up there if you want, flowers, whatever, pool floats. Here is the arrangement here of the pool. So, I mean, this is all Greek to me. I don't understand this shit. But anyway, I will by the project because I've never had a swimming pool. My brothers and all had. They had more cash and more bank financing and better credit than I did. But I was always the cash type boy. So cash type kind of puts you down. But And if you got some money to work with, here are our cabinets. You actually go in and they put something on them called selignum. Selignum is a product that is for termites, actually. Because this will be the only wood thing, the cabinets, the doors, and the kitchen cabinets in the whole house. Everything else is either concrete or uh, steel or glass. So... Uh, or tile, yeah, we got plenty of tile here. They got a plywood here. If you want a really good plywood, 
It's called uh, Santa Ana. It's about, uh, let's see, I think it's two seven per sheet, which comes out to around $55 to $58 a sheet. So, um, it's, it, it's uh, you know, it's kind of like, um, <clears throat> it's not the pine type or the birch or mahogany or whatever that we have in U.S. Uh, in fact, mahogany in U.S., I don't even think you can get that. But anyway, just a, a term there. We used arbor uh, in the U.S. This pool is going to be killer, man. Oh, look at this. Look how deep this is going to be, man. This is going to be great. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted it long enough to where you can dive in and square up in. You can do a run one really, really, really nice sitting area here. This part back here, I love this because this is the bench. I, I didn't know they had a, a bench that went all the way across the pool. Steps, everything is a rounded edge. Uh, like I say, our intakes and all. But I'm really excited, man. It was hotter than hell yesterday. We had a brownout again. They're replacing power poles. It seems like the Philippines will never get past this. This process here, and God forbid they ever do a nuclear reactor like they were talking about in Manila that Marcos had, Fernando Marcos had started and they never finished it because as soon as they do, we'd probably have a damn earthquake and the whole place melt down like it almost did in Japan back in 2010. There is a series on Netflix, I believe, about that whole process. Oh, they actually came in and rounded the edges here. I didn't notice that. Yeah, they're getting all of this here done. So I guess they'll be finishing this here up. As soon as they get this finished, they're going to put the small pebbles on it. It looks like they've probably got another day. So while they're pouring this, everything is going to click right into place, which is what I'm after. Uh, I, won't think, I like things moving smooth. When we finish one, the other one starts. Sometimes we finish two together, which is even better. Yeah, this looks nice, man. This, like I said, has fall on it. That's good. Um, we will start a CO soon. That's going to be a new process. I don't think it's a big deal here. You can do it actually in a couple of days. So... I'm going to have that going on. It's a lot of church music out this morning there, by the way, guys. I hope we don't get nailed with some copyright. Maybe Jesus will give us a break, man. It won't hit us with copyrights. Because yeah, they got a lot of copyrights going on here. Actually, right down through these trees, it's hard to see because of the sun. But down through those trees there is actually overlooking a little bit on the island of Siggy Hoare. So... It's beautiful here, man. Oh, look at that. A big old fresh mango tree. You see the bags up there on top of the roof? That is that bag right there. That's jackfruit. And you got to cover them here. Or the, the amigas, the ants, and all to get in them. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? Woo! Yeah, somebody asked uh, yesterday, they said, dude, where do you get your energy at? Because I am 10 years younger than you, and I can barely get out of bed sometimes. And I don't know, dude. I've just always been a get-up-and-go kind of guy. I was out here. Yesterday, I had actually did these two cabinets here with that selignum. Uh, it was hotter than hell. I took off. I was going down to weed eat, and uh, it was even more hotter than hell. So I said, I'll put that on hold. I will get to that soon. So, um, anyway, uh, moving along. Hopefully, we don't have any kind of a brownout today. We have got some more of our doors in. So, let's take a look here. Yeah, here we go. So, these doors are in. I've got to stain those. Here's our the plywood with the selenium on them. Here's another nice door that we have put in the exterior doors are mahogany these are solid 
I think I brought that point up the other day. Sometimes I repeat myself, but man, I got the age, man. I got the age. A-G-E. As we get older, man, we get to age. So cabinet guys are supposed to come in. I'm going to con them because they are looking for, um, they said they needed a quarter inch backing for the <clears throat> cabinets. And they're like, do you, have you got it? If you got it, we'll start. I said, oh, hell yeah. I got it. By God, it's here. Come on in. So, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and get those guys tuned up because if I do it, believe me, they'll come up with an excuse. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. It's better that I come back, you know, in two weeks. You know, I'm like, fuck that, dude. I said, I need somebody here now, you know. I don't, I don't play that shit, man. I think a man's word is everything. You know, if you damn are going to be here, you better goddamn tell me. You know, you better not keep me waiting. You know, I can understand some kind of unforeseen circumstances, but, you know, some of this shit's just ridiculous. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to get ceiling fans today from City Hardware here, which is uh, one of the top things. There's also another one. If you're building around uh, Dumb and Yeti, some of the top places I will recommend if you're doing your own is um, Negros Builders. It's right in front of Robinson's Mall. They got a whole uh, back par warehouse, uh, Machial, which is on Main Street. Perdis says it's right on the opposite corner from Lee Plaza. You can't miss it. It says Machial, but it starts with a U, but it's a Chinese company. And in the back, check these. Um, hardware places out because a lot of these hardware places have um warehouses in the back it's got everything you think it's just a little small store but it's not and matchyow carries a lot of u.s tools i have found routers in there makita routers dewalt tools dewalt uh cordless uh so if you want good tools go to matchyow and another one is robinson's hardware uh, there's one in the mall. It's it's pretty. It's got a lot of stuff, including gym equipment and weights and um, weight machines. Uh, they have a big selection. But there's another Robinsons Hardware on Main Street here in Dumb and Getty, not National Highway. Now this is Perdices, uh Street, uh, where Lee Plaza is at. Actually, it's almost opposite of Lee Plaza across the street. There is a Robinson supermarket. It's the old one that used to be here, and there's a Robinson's Hardware, and, dude, they have everything in there. I have found stuff that I can't find anywhere else. So that's good. Uh, City Hardware in Dumb and Getty, if it doesn't have it there, go to the one in Cebu Land, which is 30 minutes away. It actually has a, a bigger selection. It's like the main one here. I think they have, they build it for, and the parking is great. You can get in there. The one up here, man, it's right across from the freaking cockfight. So on a Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, I forgot which day it is, but you can go in there and you can't find a place for shit. You know, of course, I just park any freaking where. I don't give a damn, you know. I said, Filipinos do it. By God, I can do it too. Because you know what? It says no parking. I ain't never seen one tow truck come up and pull you away. Because they don't have them here. Not as far as I know. They might have them for a big commercial. But they do not have tow trucks here. So you bet that's another point of entry for you. Um, make sure you have tow bars or, you know, good mechanic. Because my mechanic last time, he had he just came out and working on my car right there beside the road. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's good, man. And that's from Nissan. I like Nissan here. So, uh, yeah, I uh, just wanted to give a, a quick update here or whatever. Some of the, like I say, the things here going on. Um, still looking maybe into a boat. You know, I may eventually, uh, I got some ideas. I won't tell everybody right now because they're kind of a secret. I like to have a little bit of secret, man. Oh, yeah, by the way, too, man. I uh, wanted to send out a, um, a I love you to my wife, Richie. Uh, miss you, baby. Uh, she's coming home soon. Uh, I think it's, uh, let me see how many days and how many hours and how many minutes. Uh, I think it is 12 days now. 11 days. 
11's my lucky number. Anyway, always has been. Uh, but she's coming home. We have worked everything out, and God, we love each other. You know, I cannot find ever find a woman that can replace her, and she feels the same about me, you know. And anyway, I'm not going to say a lot about it because I don't want to get a bunch of drama going. You know, sometimes people just need time apart to appreciate how much they really care about each other. And uh, I do. I love my wife. She's been with me by my side through hell and high water, you know, whenever I had done a video before, it was kind of, you know, we were both upset, and so anyway, I won't get into a lot of that, but I want everybody, uh, if she's on the channel to welcome her back, uh, please have positive comments, you know, she is the love of my life, um, I miss her greatly, uh, I have been here three months now and there's nobody to me that even comes close to her. Uh, she's just so beautiful. Anyway, I won't get all mushy on you, man. You know, by God, y'all sounds a little bit of Corey, man. What the hell are you talking about, boy? They like, God damn, you from the South, man. You ain't supposed to be talking all that shit, man. Hell, you about be out coon hunting and stuff, boy. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever, man. You know, I've always been a hopeless romantic. Emphasis is on the word hopeless. <laughs> I bet that works for me, man, because you know, I got a good family and my kids. I'm proud of the, them. They are going to uh, start school here in, let's see, five days. No, excuse me, I'm wrong. Princess Rick told me it's the 14th. So uh, less than two weeks. They're back in school. Elvis, he's going to be diving and some, doing some other things. Uh, he's doing his channel, Limitless Grigsby's. Check it out. Subscribe, like. Uh, he's a video digital creator. Da da da. He's got a title. So, um, anyway, uh, just shout out to you guys or whatever, man. You have a great day. Uh, I think Elvis is probably going to do a video with Paul, Old Dog New Tricks, here maybe this week. So, uh, if you get a chance, check it out. Uh, have a great day. Uh, I had a great day yesterday. It was hot as hell. Went to a place called Port Royal. It is a huge Olympic sized swimming pool with slides. Um, I think it's got two different slides. They got a big dumping water. They got cottages you can rent. They got the uh, stools. It's the in water bar, which I don't drink. Everybody said, Come on, have a drink. Have a drink. Have a drink. Have a drink. And I'm like, No, 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 no. I said, I don't drink. You know, so anyway, well, we got a lot of, had a few friends there. So, uh, here's a, a good ending to my video here this morning. It's kind of, kind of cool and simple, you know, going out in the mornings. Oh, there's your jackfruit right there. Look on this tree here, man. Oh, look at there. Nanners too, man. Look up there, boy. I got some nanners. That's jackfruit right there, boy. That's my nanners. Look at there, a big old thing of nanners. There'll be a big old purple seed too that comes out the bottom. If it, when they get almost mature, you can actually fry that up and it tastes just like salmon patties. For all you homeboys out there know what I'm talking about with salmon patties. And here is another, that's a, uh, just a job site shop up there with these guys they'll tear that down as soon as they finish there's some more nanners right there boy they got all kind of fruits here in the philippines you know what i'm talking thing you want fresh by god they ain't got watermelon over here you know what i mean you got watermelon you guys like that watermelon i know so anyway <laughs> met a guy yesterday scott that motherfucker he's nut he's crazy he's a road lizard man him and his wife, they're real good people though, man. But yeah, homeboy, he, he's a he's a powerhead. I'm gonna tell you that. All day long. He's like, this is my new best friend. Jules, you have a new best friend. You have a new best friend. <laughs> oh my God, damn, son. I said, I think we got it, man. Maybe I'll tattoo that on my arm. You're my new best friend, you know. So uh, anyway, yeah, we had a blast, man. That place is really nice if you get a chance. It's only 200 pesos to get in. 
And um, my buddy Sean from South Carolina found out that it's a no smoking area. <laughs> he's a cigarette vapor man and he's arguing with the security guard. Hey, well, you know, vaping ain't smoke. <laughs> and I'm like, skinny boy, skinny man, it ain't hair on your ass if you don't jump on him right now. You better get after him, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and all it was was somebody was jealous because you know, all the foreigners were uh, you know in the good seats and they went and reported him and you know God it's you know it's like babies sometimes here you know uh, little foreign babies or whatever. But anyway, it's, it's it's some things here you'll see, but it looks like it's going to be a nice nice day. Uh, everybody enjoy the day. I uh, think. God for the things that you have, you know, and thank God for the people that's around you. And most of all, thank God for your health, because without your health and your drive and your energy, man, you ain't got jack. So uh, anyway, I'll see you soon. Right on, right on, right on. And for Scott out there, man, all right, all right, all right.